nutrient properties that do become medicine when we incorporate them into our diet. Tell your doc he better learn about this. One thing that is plaguing most people in the world, which is high cholesterol. How smart are you about what you swallow? We want to give you a little bit of a hint. It reduces people's memory. It may or may not directly be linked to heart attacks or strokes. That's wild. Welcome to Ingredient IQ. Brian Clement here, Hippocrates Health Institute. And my name is Lindsay Johnson, and welcome to Ingredient IQ. I'm going to tell you, how is your IQ today? Today we're going to explore one of the most important findings in the recent century on nutrition and what that nutrition can do to prevent every disease you can possibly imagine. Yes, this is so interesting because nature itself has created one of the actually the most the effective most, not one of them, the most the most effective anti-cancer agent ever discovered in the ever history of medicine. Ever discovered. Yep. So when John Hopkins uh, published a study back in the early 1990s, they actually gave this phytochemical a new name. Phyto, that means plant chemo. Whoa. Wow. Phytochemo. That's powerful for a plant to say it's like a chemotherapy, isn't it? It is. And so before we give away too much, we're going to start you off with a little bit of a quiz like we tend to do. Uh, so here we go. A number of clinical trials have demonstrated its ability to produce favorable outcomes in conditions for which there are few satisfactory pharmaceutical solutions, foreshadowing the potential for blank as a clinically relevant nutraceutical. So, I mean... You know, they had to rob it. Here's... It's an herb, but they call it a nutraceutical. Nutraceutical. This way you can charge a lot more money for it. <laughs> <laughs> and, but what is interesting here is they do say that there are few satisfactory pharmaceutical solutions. So and There's many, many, many problems. There's few pharmaceutical solutions. But this is one where they have utterly failed. As a matter of fact, when it comes to cancer, 93% of the people that are medically treated for cancer will eventually die from cancer. That's mm. a pretty poor track record. Yeah. So... We're gonna give you a few hints here. Well, look at that beautiful. Ooh. Oh my God. Jeez. If you've ever been to Hippocrates, I think we've probably already given it away from oh, you. Yes. But it's also in here as well. Mm, an old mm. Irish guy. I love those Brussels sprouts. Good old Brussels sprouts. Never forget, I was in Dublin back 40 years ago speaking about sprouts. It took until the end of the lecture to realize they thought I was talking about soaking these and sprouting them. <laughs> <laughs> now, that could be a good sketch. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. Sulforaphane. Yes. The sulforaphane is powerful, people. Mm -hmm. If you've never heard about this, make this one of your best friends now. Mm -hmm. When you're opening your mouth and chewing and swallowing, raw broccoli, raw cabbage, raw cauliflower, raw kale, raw mustard greens, raw colored greens, all of them have it in it. But best of all are what? The broccoli sprouts. Oh yes, broccoli sprouts. Mm -hmm. And why? Because now we know that broccoli sprouts have 50, five, zero times more sulforaphane than the broccoli itself. And again, mm -hmm. we remind you, it's anti-cancer, anti-ulcer, anti-fungal, anti-bacterial, anti-mutagenic. What else can it be? And how much does this cost? Pennies, 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 pennies. It's not a nutraceutical, it's a gottaceutical. It is. <laughs> now, everyone likes to talk about detox, but there is some really interesting properties of sulforaphane in detox. So it inhibits some phase one detoxification enzymes that activate chemical carcinogens. So this is really interesting in the process, and this reduces the level of toxic intermediates with carcinogenic potential. So what that actually means, it swoops down when this is about ready to mutate a cell and neutralizes it. Boom. It's like unbelievable. Zapped. Can you imagine that? <laughs> and as it relates to the phase two, um, sulforaphane is considered the most potent of the phase two inducing substances. Sulforaphane is considered to be a significant component of the anti-carcinogenic action of, like we're talking about, broccoli. Now, the University of Michigan had the first studies on that that were mind-boggling. We used to think it only 
went after the cancer, as I said, neutralized it and killed the cancer-causing agents and the cancer mutation in the cell, which are stem cells, by the way. But now we realize it actually stops the stem cell from becoming cancer, which is at the core. It's mm -hmm. antigenesis. It prevents the growth of cancer. So why not take this in your salad or put it in your juice on an ongoing basis? Exactly. So it provides significant antioxidant activity and it's largely also, we haven't talked about this yet, but it's due to its ability to induce glutathione synthesis. Now, Brian, tell us a little bit oh about glutathione. Glutathione is like the mama. It the is. Mama, the mama of all the mamas. Uh, glutathione is a molecule and it actually activates something called mitochondria. And the mitochondria is the energy source of every one of your cells. So when you're listening to me here, the energy you're getting comes from mitochondria. And guess what the fuel for that is? Glutathione. And guess what happens? So fluorophane makes the glutathione function. What could yes. be better than this? And guess what? Where do you get glutathione? Raw asparagus, avocados. All of you like avocados? Mm, Guacamole. Delicious. Oh, delicious. <laughs> the raw vegan stream. That's right. <laughs> So glutathione is a critical factor in protecting organisms against toxicity and disease. The ability for sulforaphane to upregulate glutathione synthesis is highly significant. So we're not the ones saying this, science is. Uh, of course, well, we're scientists, but I can tell you these are scientists who are as smart as we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you something. When you look at what they're telling you there, when you upregulate, that means speed up, strengthen, put muscles on to that glutathione framework, what you're doing is preventing the cell from mutating, the cell from accepting chemicals, the cell from accepting heavy metals. So you'll actually be a much better person as far as your well-being biologically. But guess what? Your longevity is going to increase with this. No question, hands down. That's what I vote for. Absolutely. <laughs> And, you know, we talk about bioavailability here and there, and especially as it relates to certain supplements and certain foods, sometimes we can consume things, but it's not really readily available for our bodies to use and to absorb correctly. Right. So if you look at this graph that we have in front of you, uh, we can see the bioavailability of sulforaphane compared to some other common phytochemicals. And can you just say, I mean, uh, there's some of my is, favorites on there, but still. everything out of the water. Look, when you look at curcumin, yeah, you know, so this we is love what, it. Yeah, but we, we make a curcumin supplement here, and everyone mm -hmm. says, "Why do you do that? Why do you effort put so much effort?" I take over a kilo, two point three pounds, to get one capsule. Why? Wow. Because look it, you absorb practically nothing. So yeah. I put astronomical amounts of it just to get a small amount. Mm -hmm. So Forfane sort of comes in and says, "Hey, I'm taking over." I'm here. This is it. <laughs> Boy, they're they're like the hippest thing going. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so Brian, I mean, this is just such a subject that you know so much about, especially being here at Hippocrates, having lots of people who come here with cancer. Um, you know, what are your thoughts on just on sulforaphane as a whole? Well, sulforaphane became a hero here at Hippocrates back about 31, 32 years ago when we became congruent, when we understood what this was from scientific research that was being conducted in this country and now around the world. There's been hundreds and hundreds of studies on it, and it gave us the missing link. We would watch people get well, but we really didn't understand the biochemistry, why that was happening. So forfane is a major reason mutagenic problems have gone away and been prevented here. I can't talk highly enough about this, and you don't have to go out and buy a capsule. Once again, the mm -hmm. whole cabbage family has in it, but if you want maximum, by far maximum amounts, with that 80% absorption of sulforaphane, sprout a seed of cabbage, sprout a seed of broccoli, a seed of kale, not the kale, but the seed of the kale. All of these become sprouts. Highly inexpensive and amazingly effective. So until next time, you keep your head together and eat a lot of sulforaphane. <laughs> Till next time, this is Ingredient IQ.